Mmm, good day, Tragic here, and welcome back to Arkham Horror. This is turn one, round one. We've done all the preliminary setup, so let's get into this. All we have to do is select our first player, and we'll just roll two dice and see what we get. Okay, come on. Okay, so that's three plus one is four. One, two, three, four. Caroline Fenn is the starting player. Let's get into this. Okay, so she's at the Bank of Arkham. I mean, the Arkham Asylum. There's two clues of the Roadhouse, which is one of the most highest frequency gates in the game. There's, I think there's like 10 or 11 uh, Mythos cards. It's like Hibbs Roadhouse. I think it's the Unnameable or Unvisited Isle and the woods are the, are the highest frequency gates. So we want to get those clues immediately, but only if she can handle it, but she can. She's got the Sword of Glory and she's got Holy Water and she's got the motorcycle so she can actually dump uh, points into Sneak. So we need one, two, we need one, two, three movement for her to get there. She's got motorcycle gives her two, so we, we can put this down one, and we'll put her, oh, she got six, seven, eight. Yeah, let's put her fight up one, because she doesn't really need to worry about uh, sanity, because she gets a sanity every turn. So then she'll just go, you blam, like so. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, as for Mandy Thompson, she is in the university. Uh, now, sh the plan is, this guy here, he has, where is he's up here, he's got $5, so I'm going to send him to the Twilight Lodge and try and get a Twilight membership. And so she's going to pick up the clue at the Science Building, which is another fairly high-frequency gate. The thing about the... Uh, science building is that it actually lots of clues appear here as well so you want to you don't want to seal this gate so much because you want you still want clues to appear and stuff anyway whatever the point is she's moving there and she needs one two movement to get there so she's got two movement so let's just have a look, look here now when I set her up, I want I thought she'd have cool spells, but she's got no spells, so we're going to use one, two to reduce her lore and give her some luck. She's got a focus of two. Okay, Gl uh, Gloria, where are you? She's in Val's Diner. Okay, so this place gives you health and money. We don't really want all that. Ribs roadhouse i think we're just going to hoover up clues so she's going to go one two three to the graveyard and to do that she needs three movement which she's got now she has tommy guns shotguns spell she's got everything oh she's also got plus one speed so we can actually move it down one with one of her focus that gives her uh, so, so she's still moving three that gives her a little bit more sneak and I actually quite like where our other stats are so we're only going to use one of her focus okay Dexter oh looks like I forgot to I, I did Dexter's spells but I forgot to look at the rest of his stuff what's he got oh enchanted blade and a lantern okay so he's got some good stuff plus four to combat plus one to luck checks and he's got a plus will now uh, he's at the Curiosity Shop, which is a, a magic shop, big pardon, which is a good place. You can get spells here and unique items. But uh, like I said, I just want to hoover up all the clues. So he's going to go one, two, and pick up this clue. And... How much he's got uh, six seven eight nine even with zero one five ten with uh yeah 
So I think we're just going to stick with uh, his setup as he got now. We're not going to do any moving. Okay, Vincent, he's also, he's at the hospital. Now the hospital can give you health, obviously, and clues. Uh, but he's going to go and hoover up the one, two, three at the Historical Society. I just want to get all the clues as quickly as possible. So we need three movement. Now he doesn't have a lot of action here. He's got a nice evade check. He's got a fight check. He's got two. Oh, fine gate. That's a pretty good, uh, good card. Now I looked this up and I think the ruling uh, is that any time you return from the outer world, it counts as explored for any reason, unless it specifically says so on the card. Uh, it's in the FAQ, so I guess that's this. This will allow you to uh, speed up some uh, uh, gate finding. Still pretty cool. It only saves you one turn, so it's not a huge deal. Whatever. The point is, he doesn't have a lot of fight or action, so historical society is a fairly decent gate as well uh, for you know for things to appear, but. What have we got here? We've got uh, ignore stamina loss. We don't really care about because he's got stamina gain. So he hasn't got anything for really with spells. So I think what he's going to do is he's going to actually, he's got his evade, plus one to evade checks. He needed three movement, right? One, two, three. Yeah, this is a bit of a complex. What are we going to do here? What I think I'll do, he's got plus three here, so it gives him five combat. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to change any of this stuff. I, I might move his... Oh, what, what have we got here? Ignore or stamina loss. Okay, we don't need that because we've got stamina. Yeah, so what we're going to do is... We've got plus one fight. So he's actually at three fight when he's here. Yeah, so we're going to leave this all the way it is. Okay, so he's not actually going to change... Okay, this bloke here, he's going to move one, two, three to the lodge. And he needs three movement for that, but he's got, what has he got? Sneak. Two, spend two movement. Spend one movement. Okay, so I'll just leave that like it is. And I think we're going to leave his law and luck where it is and fight and will. We'll leave all that where it is. Maybe I'll put his fight up by one because he's got quite a lot of sanity to work with. Okay, Jenny. Now, Jenny has uh, a motorcycle for a two extra movement. She's also got uh, a... Kabbalah or Saboth Tome allows her to spend movement to see if she can get a, a spell. This is a good one because draw one skill. Not spell, skill. Oh wow, that's awesome. Okay, so she's up here. She has $11 too, so she can uh, go through the curiosity shop and try and get a thing. Or we can try and get these clues, but I think what I'm going to do is, what do I need? I need two movement. We've got three, four, five movement. So if I use one focus to go to here, give her a bit of extra sneak, she can go one, two with her movement, and then she's going to activate this. Spend the other two movement and make a law minus one check. Actually, what I might do is Put her law up one. If she's only got one focus, it's just pretty annoying. Okay, so that's law minus one. That still works out because we've got three movement, three, four, five movement. We've only used two to get to here. Okay, whatever. So it's law minus one, which is two. Come on. You blemo. You blemo. Ah, fail. And nothing happens if we fail, so that's fine. And finally, it's Amanda Sharp. Now, she's up here in 
Oh yeah, she's just going to go one, two to Independence Square. Hoover up this clue. She's got two movement. What have you got? Automatic. Flute of the Outer Gods. That we won't use that until like well into the game. Heal, marksman. Hmm. She doesn't really have anything that needs her focus. She's got a focus of three, so it's really awesome. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go one, two, down to four luck, and I'll keep her fight where it is, just so she's got a little bit of uh, will. Okay, and that is the movement phase. All I need to do now is do the, uh, you know, the, the, it's time for the, see what's happening at the locations. Right, so, <laughs> what do we are? We're, she's at the roadhouse. Yablamo. A horrible monster appears. Great. Okay, so what have we got here? We have a ghost with minus three to sneak and it is minus two and it's a minus three. Wow, that's this is a pretty bad physical immunity too. Luckily, we do have the swords, so that's six. We also have this one, which is six. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just ignore the will test because it's minus two and we're already at two. So we're going to just fail that. We don't really care because she gains sanity every turn. So we don't have to worry about sanity checks with this chick. So bam, bam, she's dropped two of them. And now we're going to do our combat. So for combat, we need six. We've got six. And we have seven, eight, nine, minus three, one, two, three which means you have a six dice. So hopefully that'll be enough. Oh, it's tense. I, I, I felt tense clicking that button. We need two successes to win this. Booyah, there we go. Three successes. Boom, dead ghost. And that's that. Okay, Mandy is at the scientific, you know, like what's it called? The science building. An archaeology professor shows you an item he recovers in an Egyptian pyramid. If you have two or fewer spells, it glows in your hands and you find yourself outside, still holding it. Not wanting to confront the professor again, you decide to keep it, gain one unique item and move to the street. If you have more than two spells, nothing happens. Uh, we do not have two spells, so we get a unique item. That is awesome. Oh, and it's an elder sign. Nice. Okay, Gloria, she is at the graveyard, if I remember correctly, yeah. She's at the graveyard. Descending into the dark mausoleum, you discover a vampire rising to feed. You quickly find yourself fighting for your life. Make a combat minus two check. Combat minus two. So this is actually a combat, a proper combat check. So we can use weapons. Now, We've got two from her board, but we've actually got two, we've actually got uh, quite a lot of gas here. So Voice of Ra has to be cast in the upkeep. That's pretty useless. Shotgun, plus four to combat check. So this is only plus four, but every time we roll a six, it counts as two, but this one's plus six. So which one is better to use, do you think? Hmm. But I think I'm going to go plus six and then it's minus two, obviously, for the thing. So we have six die using the Tommy Dunn. And the reason why is this is a just a combat check. So we only need to get one success. We actually have a vampire on the board. Vampires are minus three. <laughs> and you need three successes to kill. 
So, but this is a, a special case. You only need to get one success just to sort of drive them away. So there's no point in using the shotgun's ability because we don't need we, we don't need two successes. We only need one. So I'd rather roll the six dice. Come on, we need one success of six dice. That should be possible. Boom, there you go, two out of uh, six. That's the exact odds. <laughs> okay, so we pass. Gaining one clue and drawing one unique item. Okay. One clue and one unique item. Alien statue. Spend two moving points and one sanity to roll a die. If the die is success, draw one spell or gain three clue tokens. Hmm, that's pretty annoying. Two stamina. I'll give this to uh, I'll give this to the doctor. Then he can he can run it, and it doesn't matter because he can gain the stamina back. Okay, Dexter is in the woods, I believe. Yep, he's in the woods. You come across a cringing dog. Pass a speed minus two check to catch and calm him. If you have food, you can discard that to automatically pass the check instead of rolling. You see by his collar that he is named Duke. Take his ally card. If it isn't available, gain three bucks as a reward for returning it to its owner. Nice, an ally. So, what does Duke look like again? This is public information. Plus one maximum sanity. Discard to immediately restore your sanity to maximum. Okay, so that would be very good considering he is a spellcaster. So we really want this. What do I need to do again? Speed minus two. Well, we're already at two, so. We'd have to roll, how many, we've only got one clue. You know, I think it's worth spending this clue in the off chance that we can win this. It's a two, it's a, it's a two out of six. So it's a one third chance because Duke is a very good ally for Dexter. So we're going to spend this clue and roll one dice. Come on, come on, you can do this. Oh, no, booyah. Okay, so we fail and that's that. Okay. Vincent, he is in the Historical Society, if I remember correctly. Yep, he is. You notice a creepy man watching you as you peruse the books. With a feeling of dread, you try and slip out without being followed. Make a sneak minus one check. Okay, so the Dark Cloak gives us plus one to evade checks, but this isn't an evade check. This is a sneak check. This is a skill check. So... None of that helps us. So his sneak is two, so he rolls one die. Come on. That's a fail. Oh, look at this. If you fail, you're accosted by the man in the street. He is a wizard and casts a dark spell on you as you flee. Losing two stamina, move to the street. Curse. Oh, well, we are paying clues for this one. We cannot be cursed. Cursed is like ridiculously bad I'd rather spend clues come on well that was horrendous what a good start okay Meanwhile, Harvey, boom. Care to join the order? Uh, this is what we want. Carl Stanford and several of his henchmen ask. If you accept, pay $3 and take a membership card, which we will. So, $3. Oop. Helps if I spell it correctly. Now this means that when I'm at the uh, sanctuary, I can actually use the inner sanctum rather than uh, the, the normal result. So there's actually three locations here in the French Hills. Okay, so that was nice. Jenny is at the curiosity shop. 
So she's actually going to use the Curiosity Shop's ability, which is draw three cards, purchase one, discard the rest. So that's one, two, three. What have you got here? Oh, Lamp of al or whatever. So we're definitely buying that seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boom. And finally, we have Amanda, who is in the, where's Amanda again? She's in Independence Square. There are gypsies camped in the park. Make a luck minus one check. Well, we are luck four, so that's good. You have blammo. Come on. We've been rolling fairly badly. Beautiful. If you wish to interact with them. Oh, I didn't have to do this. <laughs> if you pass an old man has spread several items on a blanket, draw one unique item and you pay one dollar. Oh, I, there's no reason I should have. I shouldn't have rolled for this. Lucky I got a success. Look at this. There are gypsies camped in the park. Make a luck minus one check. If you wish to interact with them, which I didn't. If you pass, an old man has spread several items on a blanket for sale. Draw one unique item and you may buy it for one less than the list price. If you fail, a hag comes up and tells you that death shatters you. You scoff at her and she cuts the side of your face with a fingernail, drawing blood, lose one's stamina and you are cursed. So it wasn't, she's only got one dollar, so she, she can't afford any of these things. So luckily I passed, but I'm just going to say I didn't, uh, I didn't actually activate this at all because I don't want to even draw the item into the discard pile. So you blammo. Okay, so pretty bad uh, start for old Vincent. Okay, so let's draw the next Mythos card, your Blamo. Okay, so the Unnameable gets a gate. Yogoth. Uh, okay, so we have black circles moving on black, squares and diamonds on white. I think we've only got moons, moon, 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 moon. Yep, and a uh, hex. So nothing moves. Clue appears at the woods, which Dexter Drake's there, so it goes straight into his hand. Activity at the north side streets. Okay. Investigators who end their movement in the north side streets gain one clue token from the sinister wonders they witness, but must pass a will minus one check or lose one sanity. Okay, well that's pretty cool. We'll farm, we'll farm uh, clues with Caroline, because Caroline can recover that sanity. Okay, and that is the end of that round. I might do two rounds of video. So, uh, a little cut in here. I think, actually, I'm going to split the video here because I'm playing eight people, right? So, it's taking twice as long to do a turn. Normally, when I do my... I did two rounds of turn in my old channel when I did the live playthroughs. I'm only playing uh, three or four characters. So, uh... I, don't, I think an hour video is too long, so I'm going to cut it here and take it up in uh, the next video and just do one round per video. Anyway, so I'm calling it quits here, and I'll see you guys next time.